Happy Thursday, guys. We get to do something fun today. We're bench pressing for the strength work, so get excited on that. Uh, warm up starts with 30 seconds of single under jump ropes. We'll be performing single unders in the warm up and then double unders in the workout. So get those uh, ankles warmed up, the calves. Try to keep the hands in front of the hips um, while you're warming these up. Then you'll do a 30 second down dog stretch. So hands are a little wider than the shoulders, push the hips up high, try to drive the heels into the ground and drop the head through. Then with a pair of dumbbells, we'll perform 30 seconds of dumbbell, double dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So we stand up tall, we'll be in a narrow stance with the feet. You'll push the hips and knees back and then we'll sink the dumbbells to about mid chin to uh, ankle height at the bottom there. Nice and slow for 30 seconds. Then you'll go back into a second round of single unders or double unders, followed by push up to down dogs. So then back to push up to down dogs. So on these, we have a push up split up with the down dog reps. Then you'll move back to your dumbbells and we'll perform something a little more challenging. Double dumbbell, single leg Romanian deadlift. So you balance on one foot, you do one slow control rep, stand up, and then alternate feet, go on to the next foot on the next rep. So notice Sebastian pushes his free leg back behind him to help balance out those reps. And on the final and third round, after your jump ropes, then you'll go into a inchworm to push up. Keep the knees locked out, bend at the waist, walk your hands forward slowly, perform a single push-up and slowly walk your feet back. Final dumbbell movement will be double dumbbell deadlifts all the way to the floor. So narrow stance, one head the dumbbell touches the floor outside the feet and then stand up tall. After your active warm-up, We'll perform the comp train barbell warm up. Click the link at the top of the screen for that video. And then we'll do a chest stretch on the floor. You'll lay down with one hand out to the side, roll your leg over the other one, and then stretch out the chest and shoulder. 45 seconds on each side. After the chest stretch, we'll perform a one minute tabletop stretch. So you'll be on the ground. You'll have your hands facing back and then we're trying to push our hips into extension. This is the tabletop stretch. You should feel this through the chest, shoulders, biceps, and forearms. Do your best to keep the hips extended. Thursday's class workout will start with a bench press. We're gonna to build to a heavy set of eight reps. For the bench press, we wanna have the feet flat on the ground. We wanna have that contact. If the bench is too tall to allow that, stack some plates underneath your feet. You wanna push your shoulder blades down into the bench so you're pushing against them and keeping the lower back tight. So we're driving all the way through the feet, keeping the hips tight, driving the shoulders into the, into the bench. For the bench press range of motion, barbell touches the chest right around the uh, middle of the ribs and then press back up to extension. Make sure you keep those thumbs wrapped around the barbell for safety and have a spotter when you're going for that heavy set of eight in case you uh, reach failure. Thursday's workout is DB12. 12 minutes, as many rounds as possible. For the class workout, we'll perform 25 double unders. The rope passes under your feet twice on each jump. If you don't have double unders, you can do 50 single unders. After that, we'll move to a pair of dumbbells. We'll perform 15 double dumbbell deadlifts, just like we did in the warm-up. So the feet are narrow. One head of the dumbbell touches the ground at the bottom, making sure we keep the lower back tight for the full range of motion of this movement. Then another set of 25 double unders, and then finish with 15 ab mat sit-ups. You'll have your hips against the bottom of the mat, at the bottom of the sit-up, your shoulders touch the ground. Use those arms to help uh, drive yourself forward into the seated position. The only variation for the home gym workout will be instead of ab mat sit-ups, you can perform hollow rocks. So you're in that hollow position, gently rocking forward and back. You alternate between hips down and shoulders down uh, for this hollow rock. Have a great workout.